Hello and welcome to this helpful guide on using the West Sussex Library app. First things first, how to open the app. It should appear as this black square with the West Sussex County Council logo. Press on this and it will open the app. If you've not signed in, this is the screen you will get. If you haven't yet joined a West Sussex Library and have downloaded the app, you can start the process through pressing on Join the Library. This will take you through to the library website, where if you scroll down, you'll get the Choose the Your Library option, which is step one in joining. So, back to the home screen. To log in, you will need your library card number and your PIN number. Both you should have received when signing up at your local library. Press on Log In to take you through to this screen, where you need to put in your details. If you've forgotten your PIN, you can recover it in branch of some form of ID and your library card. Once you've entered your details, you just need to click Log In. The home screen will now look like this. For the rest of this guide, we'll go through each square or box in turn, starting with Search Our Catalogue. To access this, you just need to press on the square like before. You'll now be presented with a search box and the more exciting option of scanning a book's barcode. To search, put in the title and or author and it should bring up the books, if we hold them in West Sussex. The scan barcode feature can be accessed through pressing on this box. This allows you to scan the ISBN at the back of any book, for instance in your local bookstore, and then see if it's available from the library. For this example, we're going to use the British National Formulary, or BNF. Simply place the barcode so the line in the middle of the viewfinder lines up with the barcode. It will then scan and show you the results. To reserve, you simply now press on Reserve. Next up, find a library. Press on this and it will bring up a list of libraries. To look at details of a library, simply press on its name. For instance, Billingshurst. This will bring up the opening hours and location. To get the contact details, press on Contact Us. This will give you the telephone number and email address. So next we're going to look at My Account and that's the image with the two cards. And you'd go ahead and press on this. So, from this menu we can do lots of different things, but the first thing we're going to do is look at our reservations. So go ahead and press on Reservations. This will bring up a list of the books you have requested. The first, Easy Fish, is ready for pickup and tells you which branch you can collect it from. Secrets of Sir Richard is on its way or in transit. And finally, Collected Folktales has the reserved status. This means it is not being returned or dispatched from its home library. So next, we can check the books we are currently borrowing. To go back to the menu, press on the top left hand back button. Now you can go ahead and press on Current Loans. Here we can see the books we have at home. You can see the second item, the film American Beauty, can't be renewed. It has also given us reason as to why this is. In this case, the item has already been renewed today. If an item were overdue, it would have the, this bold overdue in the title, and it would be in red. To renew, you would press on the green Renew button. You will know this works by the next screen that states Item Renewed Successfully. Now we will look at the final menu, Charges. So go ahead and press on Charges. This will show you the money you owe and the reasons for this. In this instance, we had not paid the three reservation charges and they were all on here. The eLibrary is where you can borrow our eAudio ebooks and more, or just find out more information about them. So to access these, you press on eLibrary, the box of a tablet for a symbol. This will bring up a quick list of our various e-products. If you wanted to borrow e-audio books, you'd go ahead and press on the relevant option. And this will bring up the web page that will give you further instructions on how to download. Our e-information option is where you can access all our great products such as Oxford English Dictionary, Theory Test Pro and the Encyclopedia Britannica. Press on this will bring up a list similar to the one for the e-library. To access any of these, simply press on the one you want and it will give you further instructions on how to access it. This will normally ask for your library card number, so be sure to have that with you. So, social is a link to our social media, currently our Facebook page, where Sussex Reads. Pressing on this will take you through to the Facebook page. If you're logged in, you could even like or share the page to help you stay up to date with events and activities. What's On takes you through to our events page on the library website. This is normally split into 
regular or one-off events, and between children and adults. Any major county-wide events, such as Geek Week, will also be featured here, as shown on screen. Finally, the settings. If you press on here, it will basically just show you the option to log out or turn the notifications on or off. If you stay logged in, it will remember on your next use of the app, making it quicker to renew or use any of the other options. The West Sussex Library app is available now on the App Store for Apple devices and the Play Store for Android devices. Download it today and discover the easiest way to keep track of your books and what is happening at your local library.